Welcome to Making the Spiritual Practical with Veronica Drake, the channel where we help you live your spirituality with grace and clarity. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Welcome to my world. And one of the things I want to share with you today is a big big, big piece of what I get asked all the time. And that is, how can I tune in and hear my guides? Well, seriously, you know, the old phrase, if I had a nickel for every time I was asked that question. And so, <coughs> pardon me, the reality is because it is my first nature to just experience that, I had to really sit down and think about how can I break this down and create a very simple process, because that's my gift, simplicity, and pass it on to all of you who sometimes struggle to make contact or think you struggle to make contact. And the operative word there is think you struggle. Whenever you start to think, you begin to have struggles. So. First thing that I want to share with you that will be very helpful, and you can listen to this video over and over again. I'll post it to YouTube, and I would suggest that you take your notes, get your soul journals out, anything that you um, deem appropriate. I went to, I don't know if you have a Marshalls by you, but I love Marshalls, and I got this really cool notebook, and I love that it, it has the wiry back so I can bend it. And just label it a soul journal. It's that simple. Or go to Walmart or the dollar store and get something. But the idea is to label it, to give it an intention that it is what you call it. So the first thing is you sit in a space, and it, it can be anywhere you can do this, and you want to start by putting the intention out. And the intention is nothing more than what you're setting out to do. And so I always start off with, hey, good morning, guys. Here I am. I really would love to connect. And what is always going to happen, your guides are going to meet you. I hope the lighting is okay. Your guides are going to meet you exactly where you're at. And they're waiting for you to get to the level where they can start to converse with you. So I sit down, maybe I have my cup of coffee, maybe I have my bottle of water, and I say, hey guys, what's up? I really, really, really would like some guidance. And I just put it out there. Once you put out the intention that what you're looking for is evident and they understand it, it's going to flow. You're going to get it. So let me go on to the next step. And I took these um, notes. They were downloaded to me so that I could share them with you. Um, the next step to this is asking for any guides. <coughs> pardon me. I'm sorry, I have a cold. For any guides to step forward that have any relevant information for what you most need to know to support your highest and greatest good. Now, listen, the wording is kind of irrelevant. It's the energy that you put behind it. So for instance, if you're struggling with something, say it's relationship, and you really need to get a handle and understanding on it, you can just ask for the guides who have the most understanding on this situation, the guides who can offer up the most relevant information, please step forward. Okay, so that's the second thing. The third thing, I actually ask for the guides to show me, literally, so I can get this in my mind's eye, where they're going to stand. Okay, most times, and when I channel Eric and I do, you'll see me look over my right shoulder, and that is where the guides seem to show up for me. And I'm not sure why that is, but they're very um, prominent, and I see them a lot. 
over my right shoulder. So that's the third step. Um, piece of information, it is not necessary, hear me say this, it is not necessary to know the guide's name. You don't need to know it. Now, if you want to know it, and you feel like that's part of your process is knowing and getting a name for validation, you simply ask for the name. And then it becomes the process of you just accepting what you hear. Right now, I can tell you with that request, I hear the name Sasha. So Sasha, the goddess of love, is with me. She's the guide, the goddess of love, she's calling herself. She just presented. So that could be that there's somebody watching this video that's struggling, that needs Sasha, that needs to focus on love, and she just showed up. So write that down. Um, when you put in a request for a specific, or you, excuse me, you can put in a request for a specific guide. So say you're having affairs of the heart, there's relationship trouble. You may want Archangel Shamuel to come through. You may ask for Archangel Gabriel to be the messenger, to send the message to the other person so that they can receive it with love. You may look for um, uh, the Ascended Master. If you're struggling with your children, you may call in the Blessed Mother. What you need to understand is you can call in any, any, any energy at any time you want. You have complete power. And the way that you'll, they'll show up and the way that you'll know that you're there is by the level of vibration that you feel. So in other words, if you call in Mother Mary, okay, you're not going to get Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I don't know what to do. It's like, oh, oh wait, she's conflicting. I'm getting conflict. It's not going to happen that way. You're going to get very specific pieces of information. They're going to be little blurbs. Maybe you're going to hear a whole dialogue. The thing about channeling is no one can tell you exactly the right way. There is no one way to channel. Because the guides, the ascended masters, the angels will show up uniquely to your perception, to your personality, and they will most likely appear in a way that you as a human are most comfortable with them. So for me, I'm cool with no entity. I'm cool with not seeing anything. I don't need to see it. But if I do need to see it, it probably will show up very simple for me. No, no uh, fanfare, no, you know, bursting in flames and glowing. And it just probably will show up very simple because I have a very simple personality. And so the guides, the angels, the ascended masters will take on the energy that you can best relate to. And that's important for you to know. Um, oh, another tip. Um, they may talk to you by throwing out images, phrases, names, and if you're just sitting there and you've called them in and you keep hearing a certain color or you keep hearing a certain phrase, you can be certain that they are talking to you. If you're sitting there and it just comes out of the blue, well, hello. Now, the difference is, as I said, it's never going to be angst-filled. It's never going to be desperation or panic. Guides and angels don't show up like that. So, let's see. Um, so, here is a little technique that you can use. If you are somebody that needs a visual, just picture yourself walking down a long hallway and it's lined with doors and the hallway itself create it in your mind's eye what does it look like for you for me it's warm and inviting and it's filled with plants and it's got all kinds of spiritual words on it and it's very soft and it's very door 
lockers and on each side of the hallway and then there's a a golden door and then I see a purple door and there's different decorations on the door and so I ask my higher self what is it that I most need to learn today and then I ask to be taken to the door that's going to present me with the guides the masters that I most need to connect with so if you're a visual person, in your mind's eye, create that hallway, make it unique to you, and then make it the space that you go to every time you need to meet with your guides. It's your own private, personal meeting space, okay? And you can get as elaborate with that or keep it as simple as you'd like. Um, channeling needs focus, not stillness. You don't need to have a completely quiet mind. You need to focus. That's why the hallway technique is really good because you can focus on the doors. You can focus on, um, you know, what which door pulls your energy towards it. You can number your doors. You can name your doors. Maybe you want to name your door the door of wisdom, the door of giving, the door of love. Just keep that in mind. However you create this, this becomes your personal private place. So, um, intuition versus ego, self-thinking, overthinking. Intuition is a calm, peaceful voice. Overthinking or ego-based thinking is persistent and naggy and heavy. Intuition, am I trying to choose what best aligns with my values? That's a question you're gonna ask. So if you get a hit, you can ask yourself, am I trying to choose what best aligns with my values? Or am I choosing this because it's familiar and it keeps me safe and away from my fears? That is a very pivotal step in understanding why you do what you do. And that's the discernible difference between intuitive voice, angelic guidance, spirit guidance. That is the discernible difference, okay? Know your values. Understand what your life is made up of. Think of your values as your foundation for your life. If you know your values, you will understand what conflicts against them and therefore is of ego and fear, okay? So take time to write your values out. Um, the other thing is, as you ask for guidance, what you get, what you hear, this is, if you take nothing else away from this, you need to take this. When you ask for guidance, you need to ask yourself, if I take this route, if I take this guidance, am I repeating similar patterns? Because most of the time, ego will keep you stuck and in similar patterns and intuition angels, guides, will take you all the way out of familiarity. So I've given a lot of tips, a lot of tools here for you. I suggest that you listen to this and re-listen to this, come up with your own formula. If you need help tweaking it, post in the group here. That's why I'm here. I want to help you get this. I want to dismantle the idea that channeling and connecting is only for a few people. This is a very normal, inherent piece of us that we all have the ability to do. And I am not going to stop preaching this until every single person understands they can channel. So I'm working on the prediction or the insight for 2018. It should be up soon. Once I get it, I'll put the link. You can go download it. I love you and leave me your questions or comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends. Let's make the spiritual 
practical.